So once again you can see the effect of changing the exposure level in the camera. It greatly changes the size of the sun flare. Now I've just got the P900 set up with a solar filter. It's been going for about 40 minutes and I just noticed there's a ship just disappearing on the horizon as well. I was thinking about changing to follow that but I'll continue with the sun for today and after that, after the sun sets we've got the moon up there and then the ISS goes past at about 6.53 tonight so I'll try and capture that as well. It's absolutely beautiful here today in Broome. This is Cable Beach. And my wife's inside there just having a coffee with the baby. I doubt we'll see the ship with this camera, but I'll try. You can see there's just a massive change in the amount of sun flare when you vary the exposure in the camera. And that is how some of the flat earth channels make it appear that the sun is shrinking because they're not compensating for the changing value in the exposure in the camera. And you can see once again, changing the exposure value changes the size of the sun flare visible. The sun's not growing or shrinking at all. It only appears that way due to the way the camera processes the light. Have a look in the P900. The size of the sun is remaining constant always. So just a few minutes before sunset now. And you can see in the app, the azimuth and the altitude, it's currently just 40 minutes altitude, but the apparent altitude is still over one degree. So that's the effect of the refraction. And that's why you get the appearance that the sun is being compressed as it gets close to the horizon. It compresses vertically, but left to right, it remains the same size. So just a few minutes to the sunset now, and when the sun disappears in the P900, I will remove the solar filter and allow the camera to continue tracking as it has been for the last hour and you'll see that the camera then points below the horizon. So the sun's just about to disappear, and as soon as it does, I'll remove the solar filter. Okay, it's just disappearing now.
So the sun set four minutes ago, and as you can see, the underside of the clouds are illuminated. But interestingly, if I look across to the east, the underside of the high altitude clouds are also illuminated. And yet the sun is nowhere to be seen. So behind me, illumination on the high altitude clouds. And looking to the west, the sun set now five minutes ago. I've got a couple of cameras running on a time lapse and also had my Mavic drone up to capture the sunset. Absolutely beautiful. As a professional shill, I laugh in the face of danger. <laughs> 